Hi guys, this is Joel with Guitars United here at the Winter Nam again with Yamaha, and uh, we're talking with Chris again. He's going to give us a little rundown on the A Series. Chris, take it away, buddy. All right. Well, uh, the A Series is a relatively new line. We've had it for a couple years now, and the A Series is really designed with the performing musician in mind. So a lot of the features on these guitars are designed with the stage environment in mind and, the, and uh, that, that, those kind of considerations. So first of all, they all have a very thin neck profile, so it's very fast action, and they all have these rounded edges right here, so it feels very smooth, very comfortable in your hands. Here, try one. Yeah. Oh. Wow, that is different. Yeah. Huh. Also notice on the back of the neck there, we call that the semi-open pore finish. You can actually feel the wood ring coming through. So it feels very natural, and it's for very fast action. Wow, I really like that. Cool. Very low string action as well, so you can play it very well all the way up the uh, fretboard. It's beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. And they're all cutaway, so you have great access to the entire board there. This is gorgeous mahogany. Yep. Uh, these are available with either rosewood or mahogany back and sides. It's got, it looks like it's got a uh, mahogany binding on it, too. It does. A little bit lighter stripe than that, so you can actually see it against the rest of the back there, but they all have that really nice mahogany binding on it. I'll tell you what, this thing here feels amazing. Feels now, really nice. They're all available with either uh, the natural finish or that vintage sunburst, and they all have our great SRT, Studio Res Resonance Technology, preamp systems on it. Uh, lots of great features. We've got built-in tuners, three-band EQ. Some of the models have built-in mic modeling, feedback reduction, and everything you can need in a stage environment. All the newer preamps have all that cool stuff. Are those tuners LED so they don't suck as much juice, or is that LCD? That's a good question. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good question for battery power. It's no big deal, though. <laughs> Well, they all um, use AA batteries. That's something we've been doing for the last couple of years now, moving away from the 9-volt, because AA's are a lot easier to find. They tend to be less expensive, and it just makes it makes things a lot easier on the position as they're trying to get up on stage there. It makes sense. It makes sense. There's a, there's, a lot of company, there's a lot of companies going different ways because of different reasons, but uh, um, what, what's this with this? Well, this is the inside of the guitar here, and you can see the kerfing. One of the cool things I like to point out is that we actually notch the kerfing so that the bracing goes all the way to the edge there. Huh. That helps transfer the vibration into the back of the guitar to get more of it resonating, and it also keeps the guitar more stable. It's going to be less likely to, to shift around with temperature and humidity. So makes very it logical. I love that. Very durable in the long run. Very. Lo I love it. I love it. Beautiful. And one of the things I always like to about, point out about Yamaha guitars, Yamaha acoustic guitars, is we all use a hand fitted dovetail neck joint. No screws at all. It fits right into place, and you get the best possible resonation throughout the entire instrument. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. It's great stuff. This is that same where it's real rounded up here? Yep, you have the rounded fretboard edges. It's beautiful. Very thin action, very thin neck profile. What a, what, a nice, what a nice piece, no doubt about it. It's amazing what we can do with computers today, isn't it? <laughs> is this the A top? Yes, that's the top of the A right there. <clears throat> X bracing, non scallop, again for great resonation, and a maple bridge plate, which helps transfer the vibration into the entire top there. Is there, a, is there a series here that's more popular, like say the L's or the A's? Which more popular? Uh, they're really both very popular and they're really designed with different intentions in mind. A series a little bit more for the performing musician as opposed to the L series a little bit more for just the straight up acoustic player. Uh, they both work perfectly well for either situation, it's just uh, which one the, which one works better for you. you know, what are you looking so for? So all the A's are cut away? Yeah, they're all cut away. Huh. Uh -huh. And all the L's are non-cut away. Are any of these solid? Uh, they're all solid Sika spruce tops, and then you have the option for either solid wood back and sides or laminated wood back and sides. Either rosewood or mahogany. Either rosewood or mahogany. Uh, and they all come with a case? Yep, they all come with a hard shell case as well. Huh. Yeah. Well, so. again, guys, Yamaha, our favorite brand for the money. Probably under $1,000. Chris can't say, but probably <laughs> under 1000 bucks or right close. And, uh, yeah. So check one Don't out hesitate. Today. Just just, just come play one. Seriously. What's this right here? Is this, uh, is this the uh, L-Series neck that we didn't get? Yes. Okay. So what's different between the L-Series neck and the, is it one and three quarters nut width? Yeah, this is one and three quarters uh, as opposed to the A-Series, which is one and 11 sixteenths, so a little bit wider on the L-Series. And also you notice that the L-Series all use a five-piece neck. Uh, it's all reverse grain, one piece of wood to the next, so it's mm. going to keep it real stable as temperature and humidity fluctuate different times of the year. It's going to keep the wood from moving back and forth. And it looks really nice as well. Yeah, it's pretty. Slightly thicker neck profile than the A series, uh, but it still has those nice rounded edges, so it feels very smooth in your hands. It's like a, a, a double skunk stripe. <laughs> very pretty. Cool. Uh, Chris, was there anything else in the guitar lineup this year that was uh, that was new? Uh, we did a couple limited runs this year. We're doing a, uh, a line of the A series guitars in a translucent black finish. Is that one of these over here somewhere? Where's that? A we're uh, actually doing four models like this, a limited run of 75 pieces each. Uh, we're doing uh, concert size, we're doing the dreadnought size, and also some of the solid wood back and size, some of the laminate. Uh, but it's a beautiful translucent black finish that looks really nice. Beautiful, no doubt about it, but it's really dark wood. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, was that it? Uh, one more. They're over there. Okay. You want to go grab it? Yeah.
I'll hold the mic for you. Okay. Well, this is a this is the A6R. It's a very, very limited run. We're doing 20 of these guitars here in the United States. Huh. Uh, well, 20 of the Dreadnought and 20 of the Concert Size. And what's great about these is that they're made in Japan by the best luthiers we have at the company. And these are all nitrocellulose lacquer finished guitars. Very cool. Beautiful ornamentation, these nice uh, inlays on the fretboard, abalone rosette around the sound hole here, and these beautiful open gear tuners. So, very nice, yes. very nice. Let people see those tuners. Is that like the uh, Grovers or is that Waverly's? Uh, I want see their it might even be made by Yamaha. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, I can't remember the name right now off the top. No of my problem. Head. No problem. They look great. So it's rosewood and spruce and solid uh, rosewood back and sides. Solid Indian rosewood back and sides. We still have that beautiful mahogany binding and solid Sika spruce top. Ebony bridge, ebony fretboard as well. Looks like ebony bridge pens too. Oh yeah, ebony bridge pens. Looks okay. like a great guitar. Well, yeah. Chris, thank you so much for your time. No problem. Thank Once you. again, I look forward to seeing you in the summer, Nam. All right, we'll see you then. Yes, sir. All right.